How smart is the Tesla bot? Optimus versus Osimo versus Boston Dynamics. On the 30th of September, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, introduced the company's Tesla bot, a robot with the code name Optimus. For the first robot, the impressions so far have been astonishing. Let's take a look at Optimus and other robots like Osimo and Atlas, made by companies Honda and Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics, who made Little Dog and Atlas, is a renowned and old name in the robotics industry. Osimo, owned by Honda, is among the most advanced robots we've seen to date. With such fierce competition, can the electronic vehicle giant produce something to compete with it at all? Optimus, aka Tesla Bot. The Tesla Bot is a bipedal humanoid named after the famous Transformer Autobot character Optimus Prime. However, very little information has surfaced since the initial declaration was delivered a year ago. It's believed that Optimus will have a humanoid shape, stand at a height of 5 feet 8 inches, and weigh 125 pounds. It'll be limited to a top walking speed of 5 miles per hour. It will only weigh 45 pounds, or 21 kilograms, but it will be able to deadlift 150 pounds. Thus, its carrying capacity is substantial. In this manner, it can transport your groceries, pick up your child, or an adult of average height and weight. Contrary to popular belief, this is not to be a Terminator-style execution where you're thrown out the front window of your home. Musk argues that it might assist with chores like cooking and yard work in addition to providing care for the elderly. Optimus may be kind, but he still doesn't think robots will ever be able to replace humans. Musk has mentioned in the past that the sensors and chipsets utilized in the building of Optimus are compared to those utilized in the creation of Tesla's autonomous vehicles. According to Musk, Optimus would be in charge of activities that can be described as both boring and dangerous, such as delivering parts between plants. In a recent interview, Musk stated that humanoid robots can't function autonomously in the real world. However, he claimed that Tesla could use its knowledge of AI and key components to develop and mass-produce intelligent humanoid robots at a lesser cost. Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility The humanoid robot known as Osimo, Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, was developed by Honda in the year 2000. In the 1980s, Honda started working on humanoid robots, including various prototypes that came before Osimo, and one of these was called Osimo. The development of a walking robot was one of the company's primary focuses. The Honda E-Series was an early experimental line of self-regulating humanoid walking robots with wireless movements that were constructed between 1986 and 1993. The E-Zero was the first bipedal two-legged model that was produced as part of the series. Osimo has a height of 4 foot 3 inches tall and a weight of 54 kilograms. According to research that was carried out by Honda, the optimal height for a mobility assistant robot is somewhere between 120 centimeters and the height of an ordinary human. This height is optimal since it makes it easier to operate doorknobs and light switches. The robot receives its power from a rechargeable lithium-ion battery that operates at 51.8 volts and has an operating time of one hour. Since 2004, when they switched from using nickel metal hydrate, Osimo has been able to operate for longer periods of time without needing to be recharged. It's equipped with a three-dimensional computer processor that was developed by Honda. This processor has a memory, a signal converter, and a processor that is stacked on top of each other. The computer that manages Osimo's movement is located in the robot's waste area, and it can be directed via personal computer, wireless controller, or even speaking directions through a microphone. According to Wired, Osimo is capable of reaching speeds up to 8.5 km per hour. It can run in circles or perform a slalom pattern in its present iteration, as well as change directions while it's in motion. It's also capable of jumping, balancing on one foot, and signing in both American Sign Language and Japanese Sign Language. There are sensors that assist in the operation of the autonomous navigation system. When an obstruction is detected, the two cameras inside the head are employed as visual sensors. There is a ground sensor in the lower half of the body, and it consists of a laser sensor and an infrared sensor. The ground can be located using a laser sensor. The infrared sensor that has an automatic shutter adjustment based on brightness is used to detect pairs of floor marks so that the intended map may be verified as having trails that can be navigated. The robot can continuously modify its position thanks to the preloaded map and the detection of floor markings. 
There are ultrasonic sensors located in both the front and the back of the robot to detect any potential risks. The ground sensor and the front sensor are situated on the lower half of the body. Boston Dynamics Atlas by Boston Dynamics was established in 1992 as a spin-off of MIT to focus on engineering and robotics design in the United States. It has been under the ownership of Hyundai Motor Group after Hyundai officially took a controlling stake in the company from SoftBank. In 2005, Boston Dynamics, in collaboration with Foster Miller, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the Harvard University Concord Field Station, developed a quadruple robot known as Big Dog. It was financed by DARPA in the hopes that it would be able to act as a robotic pack mule for following soldiers in terrain that was too harsh for vehicles. But the project was abandoned after it was determined that Big Dog was too loud to be deployed in combat situations. And here comes the Little Dog which is a little quadrupled robot that was released around the year 2010 and was designed for research purposes for DARPA by Boston Dynamics. In contrast to Big Dog, which is maintained by Boston Dynamics, Little Dog is designed to serve as a testing ground for many organizations. As a standard platform, the robots that belong to DARPA are maintained by Boston Dynamics. Each of Little Dog's four legs is driven by three electric motors, giving the robot a total of eight motors. The legs can move in a wide range of positions. The climbing ability of the robot is sufficient, and it also has dynamic locomotion gates. Sensing, control of actuators, and communications are all handled by the onboard PC-level computer. The sensors on Little Dog can measure things like joint angles, motor currents, body position, and foot-to-ground contact. The Boston Dynamics Robot Application Programming Interface gives controlling program access to the robot. The onboard lithium polymer batteries allow for uninterrupted operation for up to a half hour before needing to be recharged. Remote control and analysis of data are made possible by the use of data logging and wireless connections. Another innovative robot developed by Boston Dynamics is the Agile Anthropomorphic Robot, also called Atlas, which is a bipedal humanoid robot that measures five feet in height. It was built for a range of research and rescue activities, and it was based on an earlier humanoid robot developed by Boston Dynamics called Petman. In February of 2016, Boston Dynamics released a video on YouTube called Atlas, The Next Generation. In the film, they demonstrated a new humanoid robot that was around five feet tall. In the video, it can be seen that the robot is capable of doing several jobs that the earlier generation of humanoid robots would have had a hard time with or been unable to do at all. In a video dubbed Parkour Atlas that was uploaded to the Boston Dynamics channel on YouTube on October 11, 2018, the robot is seen sprinting upstairs that are two feet high with ease to reach a platform. Unbelievably extraordinary. So, which robot do you consider to be the most advanced? Are Boston Dynamics years of research better than Elon Musk's recent innovations? Let us know in the comments section. For more videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Entirely Elon Musk. Thanks for watching.